animal rescue. Dark water filled their mouths and nostrils. Sarah felt something sweep her along like a huge hand. In a second, she was whisked to the surface, and there was Jamie, coughing and spluttering. Dangerous swimming in polluted water. Uh, uh, yes, but we, uh, uh, I don't really know how we got in there. All I know is I'm soaking wet and I've got all this rubbish stuck to me. Uh, so I see. Fell in, did you? You gave me quite a turn. I was looking for fish, not people. You'll be lucky to find any fish in that water. Don't I know it. Still, there are a few animals left in it. Follow me, and I'll show you. There's today's catch in my tank. Not much to show for a day's work. Uh, one sea urchin, one whelk, and one catfish. <laughs> and us. Yes, sorry about that. You'd better go below and clean yourselves up a bit. Then I'd like you to give me a hand with that swan over there in the basket. I fished him out this morning. Poor thing. He's all covered in oil. Yes. You could help me give him a bath later. OK. See you in a bit, then. Here. Help me hold the swan still. Uh, that stuff smells strong. Uh, what is it? It's detergent. I have to use it to get all the oil off his feathers. The only problem is, it takes out all the bird's natural oils too. So I'll have to look after him for a while. Where on earth will you put him? In the bath? Oh, don't worry. I've got plenty of room in my animal sanctuary. <laughs> ah, well, that's that job done. <laughs> He does look a lot better. Uh, time for introductions now. Welcome aboard the Ark. My name's Hope. Noah Hope. Animal rescuer. I'm Sarah. And I'm Jamie. We're strangers round here. Strangers, eh? And then maybe you'll be wanting some work. There's lots to do back at the sanctuary. Do you like animals, boy? Yeah, most of them, I suppose. There's no suppose about it when it comes to saving life on this planet. That cloud looks horrible. We're going to get wet again. Where's it come from? It was sunny just a moment ago. You may think that's a storm cloud, but it's not. It's smoke from the factories of Metroville. Well, time we headed for home. I'll just start the engine. This is where we get off. Is this where all you animals live? It certainly is. Time to introduce our swan to all the others. Come and meet them all. Coming. Hold on, wait for me. Our swan looks quite happy in there with all your ducks. Yes, it's a good sign he's having a drink. He seems to be making a recovery. We'll have to give him a name. Uh, I suggest Sooty. Sooty? Funny sort of name for a white swan. <laughs> You're right there, but easy to remember. Now, let me introduce you to some of my other guests. So, what's the kangaroo called? Diver. Oh, right. And the donkey? Oh, that's Caruso. I named him after the famous opera singer. 
I can see why. Why are some of the pins empty? I can't seem to find the animals these days. And the ones I do find don't always last long. Sometimes the best I can hope for is to give them a peaceful death. Still, it's not all doom and gloom in the 21st century. The 21st century? <laughs> you are strangers, aren't you? Yes, this is 2020, all right. Okay, come and have a look around my shed. It's where most of my animals live. Yes, over here are the rabbits. Oh, and there's my hare. Could be one of the last left alive. In these parts, anyway. I call him Slow. I rescued him from a rubbish dump near here. He had his head stuck in a tin of bean sprouts. <laughs> and what about the tortoise? Ah, he's an old mate of mine. Guess what I call him? Speedy? Quite right, my dear. You're a sharp one, I can see. I found him on a motorway. He'd been hit by a car. Say hello, Speedy. Don't think he wants to come out today. Yeah, he's a bit shy. Takes a while to come out of his shell. And now I'll introduce you to the boss of the place and my best friend. My only friend, come to think of it. Fear! Fear! What was that? It's a lion. Don't worry. Fear's as gentle as a... As gentle as a kitten. <laughs> oh, though he, he does smell a bit. I tried giving him a bath once, but it didn't do much good. Oh, he certainly is a bit whiffy. Mm -hmm. Fear makes sure I don't get unwelcome visitors. Now let's go over to the house and have a cup of tea. Make yourselves at home. This place may look like a tumble-down shack, but it's all I need. The animals are more important to me. Well, sit yourselves down on one of those bales of hay over there. Thanks. <gasps> Oops. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's all right. I suppose it is a bit cramped in here. That was Fear's dinner you just fell over. He gets through 20 tins of dog food a day. 20? <laughs> cost me a fortune. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's uh, all right. I'll just put them back where they came from. <laughs> so do all the animals live here for good? Well, I used to release them into the wild as soon as they were well enough, but if I did that nowadays, they simply wouldn't survive. Why's that? Well, the habitats for wildlife have gone, you see. Acid rain, chemical dumping, new roads, factories and towns have seen to that. I'm fighting a losing battle. But if there's an animal alive out there, I'm going to try and save it. Here's your tea. <laughs> What's going on out there? I was half expecting this. It's the zoo police. I'd better see what they want. So, it's you again, is it? There are enough of you. Safety in numbers, eh? Right, Noah. I think you know what this is about. We're giving you fair warning. In one hour precisely, we'll be back to impound any animals on the premises. A truck will take them to Metroville Zoo. Don't try any funny business. Don't forget, we'll be back. What are you going to do now, Noah? And what will happen to the animals? Right. I've been putting things off for too long. What are you looking for? Well, I know it's here somewhere. Ah, here we are. What's that? A map. It was given to me long ago by a miner called Ted Grimes. He worked in the tin mines to the north of here for years. The day he died, he gave me this map. Said he'd found a beautiful secret place. He called it Eden Valley. He said that when work got too hard in the mine, He'd slip away and just a few moments gazing at Eden Valley would help him forget the noise, the dirt and his troubles. And that's where we'll go. So what will happen to the animals if the zoo police get hold of them? They'll pen them up in Metroville Zoo to be gawped at. I'm not going to let my animals suffer like that. Why do they want to take them anyway? But there are hardly any animals left in the world, so the zoo wants all it can get. 
They've been trying to get their hands on my old lion for years, but he's near tame. He's used to his creature comforts. The zoo would kill him. Can we do anything to help? Uh, you can help me load up. We haven't got much time. What are we waiting for, then? I'll just bring my truck around. Uh, oh, it's no good. Grosso just doesn't want to budge. Try tenting him with a carrot. Slow doesn't want to go either. I'll never catch him. He's too fast. Oh, rugby tackle him. Here, boy. Oh, How are you two getting on? <laughs> Not too well, I'm afraid. Well, get Fear to help. I've just managed to call a sooty here, so I'll go and put him on the truck. Fear! Fear! Look at that! It worked like magic. So just hopped into the basket. <sighs> that seems to be that. I'm pooped. We'd better get going. Hang on a sec. We've forgotten Speedy. Aha! Here he is. I've got him in my pocket. Come on, Fee! Fee! Nice work. We've got 20 minutes before the zoo police get here. <clears throat> Fee's in the back with the rest of the animals. <clears throat> All set. Off we go. Look at the state of this place. The sooner we find Eden Valley, the better. You're right. It looks horrible. Nothing but slag heaps and rubbish dumps. The smog so bad, the sun never shines here. Ah, we're climbing uphill. That means we can't be far away. Over there's where we'll find the entrance to Eden Valley. Now then, where's the map? Ah. Right, we go right past Kelsey Junkyard. Ah, yes, that's it. There's the twisted tree. We're not too far now. How can you make any sense of that map? It looks like nothing but a load of lines and scribbles to me. Hear that? Is there something wrong with the engine? It's not the engine. It's coming from above us. It's a helicopter. Heaven help us. It's the zoo police. Stop immediately or we fire! Not on your Nelly! They try and hit our tires! No, ahead of us! A tunnel! They won't be able to get at us in there! Step on it, Noah! Made it! How far does this tunnel run? A couple of miles. When we come out, we should spot the entrance leading to Eden Valley. Oh no! Out of petrol! How could I have been so stupid? Should have filled the tank before we left. No, wait, Jamie, look under the seat. Is there a can there? Um, oh, uh, yep. Yeah. There's not much petrol in it, though. Enough, perhaps. Well, shove it in the tank and let's see. OK. Start her up, Noah. Oh, no! Come on, come on. Oh, yes, He's yes, done the right. trick! Right, off we go again. Now, where's this entrance? Ah, there it is, up there. I see it, at the top of the hill. Yes. At last, I thought we'd never get here. Oh, that's that. Out of fuel this time. We'll just have to get out and walk. Right. We'll have to lead all the animals in a procession. Fear can keep them in line. It's not far. A few hundred yards through the mine and we'll be in Eden Valley. There's a black car pulling up. The zoo police. Come on, Noah. The game's up. Let's run for it. What was that? A dart! A tranquilizer dart! They've got rifles! They're no fools. They know the noise of a bullet could bring the roof of this old mine crashing down, and they might wound one of the animals. Come out! Or my men will fire again! Quiet as you can. You can still escape. Shh! Especially you, Caruso. Phew! That was close! That dart missed my arm by inches. Look, you two. 
There's light up ahead. Eden Valley. I hope so. This old rabbit looks as if it's not going to make it. Up you come. The zoo police, they're after us. I think I dropped something back there. You can't go back now. They're getting ready to fire again. We've been hit. Put that rabbit down, Jamie. We've got to help Fear. Yeah. OK. <laughs> Come on, Fear. You can't give up on us now. Go on, mate. Up you get. He's pretty groggy, but he's fighting a tranquilizer. Thank goodness for that. Better not shout anymore, though, Jamie, or the whole roof will cave in. Hey, I've just realised what fell out of my pocket. It was Speedy. I have to go back and get him. Don't be a fool, boy. He'll run straight into the zoo police. It's OK. They slowed down when the roof started to crumble. I fell, Speedy. Well done, my boy. Someone ought to give you a medal. Well done, my boy. <laughs> I didn't fancy digging you out of there. And all those rocks have closed off the entrance to the mine, so they can't come and get us now. With any luck, they'll think we all died when the mine collapsed. Perhaps we did. And this is heaven. Eden Valley. We're here at last. It's beautiful. Worth all the effort, eh? Green hills, clear, sparkling streams, trees laden with fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the zoo police will ever find you and your animals here in Eden Valley? Well, you never know for sure, but it's been a secret for centuries. And of course, there's always hope. Noah hope. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Music in Animal Rescue is taken from Carnival of the Animals by Saint-Saëns. In the introduction and royal march of the lion, the piano and strings play a grand proud march. The lion, the king of the beasts, is leading the procession. Then the piano plays a lion's roar up and down the keyboard. In hens and cockerels, the piano and violins play clucking sounds like hens in a farmyard. Then the piano sounds cock-a-doodle-doo. In Wild Asses, a jumpy, jerky tune played on the piano sounds like wild asses running helter-skelter. The strings play a very, very slow can-can in tortoises. It's normally a quick dance, but tortoises are very slow animals and can't move that quickly. In the elephant, the double bass plays a slow plodding tune, like an elephant ambling along. In kangaroos, quick short piano chords up and down the keyboard sound like kangaroos jumping.
the aquarium starts with a rippling piano tune which sounds like a flowing river. A dreamy tune played by the strings and wind sounds like fish sleepily swimming. In persons with long ears, the violins squeak and the cellos follow. The person with long ears is a donkey. In the cuckoo in the depths of the woods, gentle slow chords are played by the piano. Deep in the middle of the dark wood, a cuckoo calls. In aviary, the flutes play a twittering tune like birds singing. The piano ripples like birds' wings flapping as they fly around their cage. In pianists, the pianists sound as if they're only just beginning to learn to play, because they begin an easy scale, stop, and then start all over again. Xylophone plays a rattly tune in fossils that sounds like skeletons dancing. In the swan, the piano plays a slow, gentle tune like water rippling. Then comes a smooth, slow tune played by the cello. The swan is gliding gracefully on the lake. Finale, all the animals in the carnival come together. Some of their tunes are played again. See how many you can find as you listen. These are just a few of the highlights from Saint Saëns' Carnival of the Animals. You're bound to discover more every time you listen.